Hi ghosties! Take a walk down Gloucester's most haunted street with me. Hi, I'm Becky and I'm a ghost tour guide and paranormal investigator in Gloucester. Westgate Street is Gloucester's most haunted street. Oh my god, practically every single building on the street is haunted. So I've stopped at all the buildings that I know are haunted. So commentary building society, that's a new one. Had them come on the tour one night. This is AG Meek. Ghost, got the ghost of a little boy. Quickly walked down to McDonald's. Uh, Scrooge is in there. James Jemmy Woods likes to make his presence known. Pushed his weight around a bit. Shushed me one night rude that's the fleece they've got jean in there she is also described as the formidable housekeeper or the lady in blue then we've got gloucester antiques also ridiculously haunted uh, i've had people even say to me they've seen children staring down at them in the windows at night slightly creepy now, this is a walk down to pound stretcher it used to was originally a theater called the theater royal on the and the palace got the ghost of eliza johnson i think her name's actually mary but we'll get into that later uh, 14 gifts they've got a ghost in there Bull Lane also has got ghosts. Got a, I'm going for residual energy mainly on that one. But if you go back to my other previous videos, so much on these pieces, they all got their own video. This is known as Anglican Windows. I am going to do this one. Currently it is shrouded in scaffolding. Gorgeous uh, medieval building. Got its own ghosts. Good old college court. Uh, now you see the gate down there. That's where a monk or a sad monk has been seen. So now we're taking a quick walk down to the Fountain Inn. That's more got a funny story. Let me know if you guys want to hear it. And this is the cavern. This is one I'm currently doing for you guys. So sorry I'm out there for quite a while. Like double the footage and everything. Has been a multitude of things like most buildings are these days. Buildings get turned into different things. Now we're going down. That's the cathedral. Spellbound is down there. These are the council offices. The architect was the same architect who did the uh, Natural History Museum. Now this, this used to be a butcher's. I've got one coming on this as well. I just can't find the footage that I filmed of it. This is also haunted. Good luck to the people living in there because whore. Now walking down to the crown. She's closing on the 9th of May. I'm absolutely gutted. Got an investigation this Friday. The last one because I'm not sure if we're ever going to be able to get in there. Interesting though. It's got a uh, woman who sings every friday oh and the dick whittington the one where there's supposedly a body buried in the wall i've also caught some class a evps some orbs figure seen out of the peripheral of your vision you know the usual ghost sighting and my favorite place it's the folk and wow this is more loaded than i thought it was so it's now one building used to be three i'm pretty sure from the investigation we did it did in there some ghosts are or some spirits are pissed it's not three separate buildings anymore I, the energy coming off one of the buildings was just horrendous the lower george inn this is where the lion that's buried underneath the floor in treetops in the new inn died just thought i'd let you guys know that and next up we have the jukery so this is on built on land that was used during the civil war to help fight a lot of the skirmishes during that time this is the one where the lady uh, has seen a cavalier visit her through her lounge uh, wall only when she was sad or upset though and that concludes westgate street the most haunted street in gloucester thank you for joining me guys next up is nuant